Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the brand new Renault Austral E-Tech full hybrid. This is the top end version, the iconic Esprit Alpine. And in this video we will make the test drive. I will have a separate video with the same car, full review, interior, exterior, everything about the car you will find out in that video. But in this video it's all about driving. I will give you my feedback on how it feels this full hybrid from Renault and yeah before we start I want to tell you as I said in the beginning we have the top end version here it comes with 20 inch rims the rims look fabulous on the car I love those rims one of the element that I love about the car uh, it comes with ventilated brake discs on the front ventilated brake discs on the rear so great brake discs this is the key by the way the same simple key that uh, Renault uses also on other uh, cars we will talk about that later keyless entrance of course electric fold mirrors let's go inside we have because it's the Alpine they, they collaborate with Alpine we have also the Alpine brand here on a nice plate aluminium pedals incredible quality material in the interior but more about that we will talk in the full review video even the seats are made with Alpine logo integrated Alcantara fabric material incredible seats the quality inside Renault cars in the last years it's fabulous i'm super super impressed to be honest guys let's go inside the car before going inside a uh, four control mean that this version it's four wheel drive but more technical data as we go in the video and also in the full review video or in the description of the video if you go down in the description of the video you will see more technical data about the car if i miss something in this video the price of the car here in switzerland by the way if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Gallicar Garage or carplanet.ch. There you can find a lot of cars that they have and also the price. And also you can come here at Gallicar Garage in Bern to test drive the car, buy the car, see the car, check them out. The price of the car, basis price is 45,800 francs. But with all these options like Harman Kardon, heated windshield and all that stuff, panoramic deck and head up display, the price will go to 52,500 francs. I will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea. But the most important thing is that the car come with a 1.2 liter petrol engine, three cylinders in line. 131 horsepower has only the petrol engine, but it comes combined because it's a full hybrid. It comes combined with an electric motor that drive the front wheel drive, if I'm not wrong, or it's integrated in the transmission from what I heard. And the total power, it's 199 horsepower, 205 Newton meters. It comes also with with a two kilowatt hour battery, very big battery for a full hybrid. I think this is the biggest battery that I seen until now in a full hybrid. I don't remember well, but two kilowatt hour, it's more than enough to drive. And I will show you as we drive, how much you can drive only in electric mode with the car. Another important information, it comes with an automatic transmission with somehow two point plus four gears. Let's drive the car, press the brake. This is the start engine button once you press it you will notice that the car come also with this new multimedia system from Renault that is just fabulous I love it I have to tell you guys I really love the multimedia I have a separate video on my channel it comes with this gorgeous steering wheel great size and great grip and I love the fact that they design it like that you have a lovely visibility head-up display right there it's optional It's directly on the windshield perfect I mean it's the visibility it's really 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 good very good visibility also in this mirror here uh, we have the stalk to change the gears behind the steering wheel like Mercedes and Tesla here and you can go in reverse just like that very simple uh, you can see also the car come with 360 degrees camera very good resolution I love this uh, 360 degrees camera from Renault it's one of the best on the market I have to to admit that that you can see perfectly what it's around the car much better than what we find in other premium brand cars manufacturers you want to go in park you press the park want to go in drive you go down and you go in drive if you want to recuperate some energy you can see the battery down there you have two pedals plus and minus you can choose the recuperation of the energy while you're driving you can play with those things and it's act like a engine brake but it will recuperate the energy back in the battery so you don't have to use the brakes for example you drive and you you press this one recuperate and then the car will recuperate another thing here we have auto hold and electronic handbrake another thing that i want to point out is that the car doesn't come 
with auto hold you cannot drive like a one pedal drive you have to press the brakes and then it will stay because it has auto hold but it doesn't have one pedal drive like you find in electric cars anyway let's drive it now here we have a button multi-sense mean that you have a few driving modes echo comfort sport personal uh, and you can also choose very simple between them we will start in echo mode and then we will try to change different driving modes first of all it's incredible silence the car it's crazy silent the comfort it's it's just perfect on those seats great visibility you can see around the windows just perfectly uh, it feels premium being inside this new uh, Renault Austral and also this is the top end version let's keep in mind this thing also what I was impressed to read is that the turning radius of the car is 10.1 meter and I want to test that as we go in the video to see that it's quite true uh, 8.4 seconds 0 to 100 McPherson independent suspension in the front multi-link uh, independent on the rear great visibility I love the position of driving I feel like I'm tall I love the head-up display right now the car um, has the the petrol engine on but you you barely notice it also right now I choose maximum recuperation and right now if I take the foot off the acceleration I can already feel how the car it start to break and recuperate the energy back in the battery right now we are driving only in electric mode you don't you barely hear it I will try to pay attention to it but you barely hear it when it's in electric mode or right now I don't know right now I really don't know I, I, I really don't know if the petrol engine is on but it's quite silent inside the cabin it's smooth I like the pedals I like the steering wheel gorgeous grip it's very assisted the steering wheel that's that's for sure it's crazy crazy assisted it's light uh, to drive the car even though you have a super big SUV not huge <laughs> because I have some comments from you <laughs> in the previous videos it's not that huge but to, actually for for the way you control it it's it's quite big also you have Google map here right now you start only in electric mode right now you are in electric so at low speeds the car will drive in electric mode so for example in the city where is traffic it's gorgeous because it will lower your consumptions also you can change the, the view in the front there you can choose whatever you want to see how, however you want to see there I like that that it's so uh, customizable we will go right now on the highway Excellent right now the engine it's kicking in I hear it right now when it starts but it's work perfectly you don't even feel it the difference when it's kicking you can hear it a little bit more but you don't feel it Wow I like that Wow it stays so good on the curves feels really nice really smooth and it has much more than enough power I didn't expect to have so much power to be honest the car come also with lane assist and um, cruise control so you can also uh, set to activate it from here you just press the button and then you activate it here for example if you want to set it to you can see the head-up display it's wow the resolution of the head-up display I'm super super impressed it's it's really really good you have lane assist here you can activate the lane assist from the side here you have a button and then the car will kind of 
uh, hold you between the lanes right now you can see a blue line between the lanes and right now the car will do the job for you will stay between the lanes wow I'm, I'm really impressed with the clarity of the head-up display with the brightness the colors and and the resolution of it it's it's super clear much clearer than, than in many many other cars now the lane assist what I notice it's it's kind of bouncing around a little bit before maybe because of the lights reflections now it's doing fine and this is the kind of the autopilot the car can brake accelerate and keep between the lanes right now it doesn't see the lanes what I recommend you it's always hold your hands on the steering wheel for the safety reasons because those um, safety features are not ready even on Tesla guys always hold your hand on the steering wheel this is just a helpful extra assistant to your driving style but uh, always hold your hand on the steering wheel it's not safe uh, to release the steering wheel but right now uh, actually the car is doing itself the job and let's see this curve this curve is quite complicated here and let's see if you do it okay not bad not bad okay yeah I was a little bit earlier when I say it's bouncing around and you can see here a little bit go too much to the left but then it's go to back between the lanes so it's not bad but it's not perfect they probably have to improve here a little bit but I like it uh, it's not bad I mean for highway for straight uh, speed I think it's more than perfect you can press the brake to deactivate it and then um, of course you can um, take the control of the car right now we are in echo mode if you want to change the driving mode you just press this button down here and you can go in sport mode right now we are in sport mode everything changed to red even the ambient light on the doors even the cockpit colors changed to red and right now oh yeah I feel like the car it's much more responsive when you press the acceleration it's 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 a big difference and also the steering it's a little bit more more stiffer but still assisted I already feel that assisted I like the, the suspensions and the comfort in the car it's really good I already feel you, you don't you can expect to have a super wow but it's much more direct I, I like that it's much more direct the steering I like very much the way they set those different driving style we will talk a little bit more because I have a few curves here I'm really curious to, to feel it a little bit consumption I would say around six liter depend how you drive it I will probably do another test drive uh, about consumption visibility in the mirrors is just perfect nothing to say about visibility also right now the car you can see it's kind of regenerate the brake but if you want to stop it you have to press the brake and right now auto hold it's engaged and the car will stay in place and from here from the view you can change different views right there um, really really cool the echo the chassis the tire pressure the energy flow you have a nice energy flow there the distance and here is the consumption and if I'm not wrong you can also 8.5 liter we have until now but you can also uh, reset it I will do a separate video about that um, in general it's very very light to drive you can see the energy flow in the right side wow it's it's quite cool I really like it I really like the, the head of display I like the information the way they place it there I have a great visibility uh, also here on the on the navigation system now we are in sport mode it's so easy I mean the, the steering wheel has the perfect size at least for me I really like it now here you can kind of accelerate a little bit so you go slowly and then wow it's just it's just instantaneous but here I cannot accelerate too much it's a speed limit so it will hold in the speed limit uh, but still when we go back we can accelerate a little bit and feel the acceleration I will try to, to start it from uh, zero because the engine is already warm 
um, lovely feeling I, I didn't expect to be that good uh, to be honest and the transition between electric and petrol it's it's crazy smooth you barely feel it and also barely hear it when I start the the engine on the on the place on the on the same place was a little bit noisy I was thinking will be noisy but now that you drive and you are inside the car you you barely notice the engine now I have to turn around here 10.1 meter is the turning circle and I'm quite curious if I can turn in this small space here yeah it's complicated maybe I will find another one but the camera resolution look at it the 360 degrees camera there they are so clear crystal clear very nice wow it's it's kind of map up the ground I, I I feel like I'm driving a super premium car to be honest and as I said from zero okay all right now the acceleration has a little bit of delay when you start from from scratch you can also feel that you know the car start try to to engage both electric motor and also the petrol engine in the same time and it need a little bit of time so probably this is not the perfect car to drive sporty uh, or to make 0 to 100 acceleration it's a car that uh, you can uh, gain the, the acceleration and the speed while you're driving for example when you drive you press the acceleration you immediately immediately feel that torque that push you back so you can reach out better speed for example when you want to pass out the other cars and stuff like that but if you go from zero yeah it's not uh, the perfect one but the system is gorgeous I mean for daily uses for daily drive it's it's more than perfect you don't need more than that and for example you already drive now yeah and then you accelerate you see it's pick up the the speed really really nice right now and it stays super super good on the road i love the way it stays on the road in sport mode it's it's much more stable the handlings are changing a little bit than in the echo mode in the echo mode it's like The echo mode it's like the steering wheel it's much more assisted the car come with blind spot technology in the mirrors um, no it's great it's great they did they did a great job it's super super hard to test the cars here on on the Swiss roads because the speed limit it's like so so um, low and and the cars want to push more and more these days all the cars are so strong I should say and I don't want to pass the speed limit but I feel like the car can do much much more and at I'm driving 80 and the sound from outside it's really good the sound insulation is great visibility it's perfect over the bumps it's it's incredible good I love the comfort over the bumps uh, it's just perfect the seats position it's perfect uh, nothing to complain to be honest I, I don't have anything to complain about the car right now right now on the curves you can hear a little bit the engine it stays at high revs in sport mode but if you would change the driving mode, for example, if we go to, let's go to comfort mode right now. Wow, the steering wheel, it's super, super light. Suspension also much lighter. And the acceleration, it's fine. And right now you can set from here, just simply as that, just push it forward and you set the speed here, for example, to 80 and you engage this autopilot and the car will stay between the lanes because here they are really clear and it's just stay perfectly there. 
but the head of display and the multimedia system uh, and steering wheel and the comfort are some some things that they are premium i have to say they are really really good no wonder why so many people want to see this austral because it's really good i mean I i'm super impressed and i kind of forget all the time how good it is lovely lovely the brightness of the head of display it's incredible good you can see it right now probably you can see it on the camera as well and we can disengage and we can try one more time to go in sport mode and try an acceleration from 80 to 100 you can see how easy it's picking up the power and go back to echo mode let's see in echo mode the engine is still running 100 you start to hear a little bit of wind noise this is normal but if you play music you, you barely hear it but the car it's running smooth it feels like it has more power to give you when you press the acceleration no it's it's fine it's it's perfect i was worried a little bit about this 1.2 liter three cylinders in line petrol engine but now that i drive the car uh, in this combination with the electric motor it's it's lovely it's really really good i like those pedals you can regenerate i barely barely play and push the brake because the car right now it's regenerate the energy back in the battery so it's great i mean not only that you save the the brake discs and you cannot you don't have to change it so often uh, but you also re recuperate some energy that you can use later and this is super economical and right now the car will drive in in uh, electric mode when you drive at low speed in a silent like in a city so perfect i really like the car i have to tell you this is this is really impressive i mean it's around fifty three thousand dollars but it's really good it comes with a lot of premium features like the seats the glass roof it's crazy high quality those seats you can see in the full review video check out the full review video there i talk about everything and if you can find out more details if the video is not already online uh, click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come online you can see electric If you are gentle with the acceleration, the car will be gentle with you in terms of consumptions, so you can get gorgeous consumptions. Also, you can see that beautiful uh, map also on the on the screen here. If you want to see the map, you can have it in the front there. It's it's just incredible. In my opinion, one of the best multimedia system out there. Um, it's really good and Sylvester Deschamps is one of the engineers that create this said to me that will be even more improved you can see in the future YouTube here and a lot of application will come on these screens so I, I'm looking forward for that yeah before I end up this video let's don't forget to test the turning circle I want to find a place where I can test it because I feel like this car can do really good in terms of turning radius here it's a little bit dirty I don't want to get the car in the dirty place but I know a place there maybe we find it open and we can test the turning uh, circle of the car also um, let's go left here it's easy it's so easy the steering and it's so easy to drive it it's crazy easy i feel like i'm i feel like the 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 back wheels they turn as well like they turn in some super high expensive mercedes let's try here guys the turning circle and 10.1 meter let's see that's true or not 
So like, I mean, I have a big SUV turning in this circle. It's not bad. It feels it feels real, to be honest. It feels quite real. I like it. And and you go in reverse and you can see this 360 degrees camera. Gorgeous camera, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You can see how the car is map up the ground there and you can see a on the side lines wow you can see even the wheels look at there look at the wheels oh my god it's so real and then here you have the car and you can see the active lines you can put the car like that you can go in reverse oh my god look at this it's a video game it's so cool oh god great job great job fantastic car renault kill it really kill it with those uh, new cars i really really enjoy driving the car if i change this consumption said 8.4 liters uh, for our trip so guys that was the video i hope you enjoyed i hope you get some useful information from the video my rating for this renault austral e-tech from 1 to 10 taking into consideration price and all this offer and the driving position the driving feeling it's 10 from 1 to 10 it's 10 why is that because if you want to buy a mercedes with all this technology or a bmw pay hundred thousand without any problem but you can buy this at half of the price with kind of the same quality and it's a good car really good car so i, I totally recommend you guys go and test it see if you like it and if you're in switzerland check out Gallicker garage uh, in bern i will leave the link in the description so you can check them out also thank you very much for watching i hope the video was useful if you still have questions ask me down below if you want to see the full review with the same car interior exterior material quality technical data space all that stuff i will have a separate video with the same car uh, there you find out more infos on the channel if it's not already on the channel click the subscribe to see the notification when that video will come out that was the video i was excited to drive this car it's a pleasure it's a nice car and i like it so great job renault anyway thank you for watching stay safe don't forget to like share subscribe and i see you soon in the next one yeah bye guys